Well, we're here today with the uh, Kelly brothers, Scott Kelly, Expedition 25 flight engineer, who will become the commander of the International Space Station for Expedition 26. Mark Kelly, Endeavor's commander for the STS-134 mission to the International Space Station. A very unique moment here. <coughs> you guys were born February 21st, 1964 in West Orange, New Jersey. You'll both be 46 years old at the time of your encounter on orbit. Right before the launch of Endeavor, actually, you'll turn 46. So the first question, naturally, since you're identical twins, is who's the oldest? Actually, we'll be 47. So if you do the math from 64 to 2011, we'd be 47 right before, you know, before uh, I launch. And, um, uh, and I'll be six minutes older. Six minutes older. So you were first, Scott followed you, but that's not necessarily the way your career paths worked, as we'll explore later on. You know, but we didn't know that, actually, until we were probably, what, 15, 16? Our parents weren't, uh, they didn't want to tell us who was older because they thought maybe that person would then have some leverage or something like that. So we didn't know who was older, who was younger until probably, you know, 13 to 15-ish. Well, before we go into your upbringing, uh, did one become the alpha male pretty quickly in life? Isn't that dogs you're referring to there? It could be humans as well. But I don't um, think so. No, no, we've always been uh, pretty close and not very competitive with each other. So. New Jersey has grabbed a lot of limelight, uh, particularly recently uh, in television with a variety of programming. Uh, but those who are not familiar with West Orange, New Jersey, where you were born and grew up, uh, tell us a little bit about your hometown. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of a combination of, you know, sort of city-like and uh, the suburbs. It's a bedroom community of New York City about 20 minutes west of Manhattan. And uh, uh, it's really, a, it really was a great place to grow up. It's, uh, you know, that whole area has got a, real, a lot to offer. and. Uh, you know, we took advantage of uh, some of that, I think, growing up. Good school system. You know, we used to do uh, field trips from school into New York City to go to museums, so it was, a, it was a great location. We used to do our own field trips into New York City on the, the Sometimes. local bus. <laughs> West Orange, uh, aside from the two of you, is the birthplace of other notables. Uh, I'll just read a few. Thomas Edison, certainly historic icon. Yeah, I actually don't think he was born there, but that's where he had his major factory and uh, his laboratory. And he lived there for many years. Yeah, and his, uh, the museum for the National, I think it's a National Historic Monument now for Thomas Edison is in West Orange. General George McClellan, famous historic figure. Phil Rizzuto, shortstop for the New York mm -hmm. Yankees and later one of their broadcasters, Amos Alonzo Stagg and Whoopi Goldberg. Did uh, West Orange ever strike you as a place in which notable people would grow up uh, maybe because of its geographic proximity to the Big Apple? You know, it's uh, it's certainly known as a, as a place that Thomas Edison spent a lot of uh, time in. As far as some of those other folks, I wasn't really aware of that growing up. Uh, it's, it's actually a pretty small town um, population-wise, about, I think when we were there, maybe 50,000 people. So, uh, you know, it's not a huge city. So, uh, you know, it does somewhat surprise me now when you tell me all the, 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 you know, notable people that were born there. So what was it like growing up in West Orange? It, you know, like my brother said, it's, it's, it's kind of got a little bit of an urban feel to it, but it is a suburb of, of New York City. But when you're growing up there, you know, it's, it's like it's all you know. Uh, a couple high schools in the town. Uh, we went to the one, I guess, essentially further away from, from New York a little bit. The town's somewhat divided by a big hill. So we have these terms of from up the hill and down the hill. And uh, not that they really meant anything, but there was uh, pretty much a division in that went right through the town. Did you all stay in the suburbs more, or did you, as you grew up, did you visit New York a lot? We would go in there with our with our parents once in a while for actually going to Manhattan for dinner, weekends occasionally to a uh, museum, um, but uh, you know most of most of my memories of, of traveling into Manhattan um, was uh, you know with school trips and then later on as we got you know into high school kind of 
you know, on our own and with, with friends. I remember once going into New York City when I was probably 15 or 16 with, with just another friend and getting uh, stuck in the staircase of the Empire State Building. That was an experience because we decided we wanted to walk down instead of take the elevator down. So we got into the stairwell and we walked down most of the way to the bottom and then got to a door that would not open. And we wound up having to walk all the way back up and, uh, and try to get out the, you know, the normal way. Did you guys have uh, favorite sports teams, sports heroes uh, from the metropolitan area? Uh, me personally, I was a Mets and a Giants fan. So of course then I liked the Yankees. I think I liked the Giants too at the time, and I still do, but um, Mets just didn't do it for me. Mets, Yankees, indicative of a sibling rivalry uh, perhaps as you grew up? Not really. Just, yeah, just in, just in that regard, I think. You guys went to uh, Mountain High School. Uh, how are twin brothers received? Uh, was there anything in particular, anything notable uh, about the way your classmates treated you? You know, we didn't, uh, we don't have any other siblings, so we don't know anything differently. So it's, uh, you know, with nothing to compare it to, you know, I don't think we were, you know, we, did, we didn't feel any different. And, and we weren't the only twins in the school. There were uh, John and John and Mike Sarni, Sarni yeah. who were a couple years older. So, and they were identical twins as well. So it was kind of like a mm. little bit more common. But did back then, you know, twins and, you know, multiple births were less common than they are today. So, you know, I don't, you know, at the time, I think those, those two guys were the only twins that I knew. Did you hang out with those guys? A little bit. We were both uh, on the swim team and mm -hmm. the track team together. And Scott and I both kind of took up pole vaulting on the track team, and the coach we had wasn't particularly interested in it. So we actually learned it from uh, mm -hmm. John and Mike Sarney. 